Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Today, Monday, September 16, 2019, we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Land Rover Discovery. So let's take a look at a few examples I have. This is of course the best known one. This is the Matchbox version. It has a 2000 copyright Land Rover Discovery 1 to 60 scale, so pretty big. This is the first release from 2001. So you got the little spare wheel on the back. Got the uh, double sunroof and the side moonroofs, or what you call them. So very nicely done. You got the kind of a push bar in the front with two. Uh, Two beams in there. So yeah, cool casting. No suspension, but big chunk of metal. Next one I have is the Matchbox version from a five pack from 2006. It was the Coast Guard five pack. This has got a light interior so we can take a look at it closer up. It's got some gear in the back. Cool. And the next one I got is from 2009. This one is still carded. And Rover Discovery number 66. Watch on the back. Kind of a brown color. Forest Retreat, Tour Support, Wilderness Excursions, Vehicle 524. It's kind of a satin brown. Pretty cool. It suits the car. Kind of a tan interior. And then the last one I have is from the Land Rover series from 2016. And a police deco. I have it loose here. Got the blue rims. Cool. And then that's it when it comes to Matchbox. Here is a Motormax version. It's pretty small. 2004 Land Rover Discovery it says on the base. Motormax. No scale of course. It's got nice details. In the front here you get the Land Rover name. Got the headlights, tampoed, and the grill piece all painted up. So that's nicely done. Also has side view mirrors like the Matchbox. You get the tail lights. And you get a very nice spare wheel. I would love those to be on here instead of these. It's got a nice interior too. Got nice details in there. And it's got the third row of seats also. So that's kind of cool. Does not have these uh, side windows here, those are uh, casted into the body. It does have the sunroofs. So, yeah, all in all, a nice version. Too bad it's so small. I'll give you a comparison with the uh, Matchbox. As you can see, of course, the Matchbox is pretty big, 1 to 60 scale. But this is yeah, between 165 and 1 to 70 scale, I think, in the Moto Max. And then the last one I got is in a Toys R Us packaging. Fast Lane, it was called back then. But this is actually a real toy. So the other one. In case you're interested, is a Ford Galaxy MPV, but that's not what this video is about. So let's open this up. 
take a look. Got a little protector on the back. That's what we like. As I have said before, Real Toy is a underestimated or underrated, I should say, diecast brand. Uh, it's a Chinese brand, I know, but they make really nice stuff. So, lots of details in the front, headlights, indicators, fog lights. Also has the side view mirrors. The side window here is not part of the window but it's a silver painted piece it's a nice touch so get a detailed interior we get a uh, separate color for the dashboard and black in the steering wheel and then a gray color for the interior also have the third row of seats nicely detailed in the back with the, the lights in the back tempoed and a very nice shiny chrome wheel cover for the spare wheel very nicely done a nice green color also very shiny so yeah all in all very nice one don't think it really has suspension I can press it down a little but you know that's really meant to have suspension and the motor marks doesn't have it either so all in all I think they all three of them are very nicely done very nice versions all the matchboxes have the tempos on the side so nothing on the front and the rear the uh, motor max and the real toy do have that so that is nicely done by them size wise for the real toy i think there's not much of a difference in um, with the matchbox the matchbox is wider though a little bit wider lengthwise they are pretty much the same matchbox seems to be a tad longer but that's probably because of the push bar in the front if that wasn't there they would be exactly the same length just the width is a little bit more on the matchbox so size wise they are like this very nice models I like all of them so I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already, hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.